at 11. This weekend, we saw gun violence erupt all across the capital city, including one shooting involving Columbus police officers. From the short north to South Linden to South Columbus, the gun violence is sparking another call for action. 10 TV's Ashley Bonanson heard from concerned citizens and the police union, and they have a message for you. Ashley. Angela, community members tell me they are becoming desensitized to the violence. Tonight, the short north shooting still leaves multiple businesses closed and a lasting community impact not only on residents, but also on first responders. Well, I think a lived experience of people that live in the short north and downtown is you know, there's so many there's so many people within the same space that bad things are going to happen, but there's also so much good. Jennifer Dunlap, who lives downtown, says it's important for the city to come together to continue to build back after traumatic events like Saturday mornings shooting in the short north. I think there's so much good within this community that the things that happen between midnight and 4 a.m. shouldn't scare away the people that want to be here at 7 p.m. Shootings in Columbus, some residents say, is becoming the norm. Just this weekend, windows shattered and businesses close display the impact on the community. But what goes beyond the eye, the mental impact on residents and first responders. Whether it's gang violence, whether it's a mass shooter, it's on every police officer's mind right now. So it's in your head going into your ship. Brian Steele from the Fraternal Order of Police says officers were patrolling the short north, checking on the food carts when gunfire broke out. He says two groups of people were in a gun battle on High Street and officers ran into the scene. Those officers ran into the gunfire, literally, where they engaged in a gun battle with two different groups of people. The officers were taking fire and they were shooting back, which we will do every time we're fired on. Steele says gun violence is becoming all too common in the city of Columbus. Criminals now know you could fire a shot at an officer and well, it's okay, it's acceptable. The problem, he says, people are dividing instead of uniting. We are so polarized right now. We have to start identifying as residents of Columbus, residents of Ohio, and Americans. Right now, we, we, right now we divide ourselves. Black, white, gay, straight, Republican, Democrat. Officers found multiple victims at both shooting scenes, but after more than a day, police have yet to release the exact number of people injured. Currently, one person is in critical condition. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Angela? Ashley, thank you. And we learned just a few hours ago that Columbus police plan to address the weekend violence in the short north. We're expecting a press conference on Monday 